Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm a writer, director. Film my Regress. face. Show my face. <laughs> I'm a cat lady. I love me some Jesus. And I tend to fangirl. And then when I knew his character wasn't okay, I cried for like 45 minutes. A lot. Because once again, his character was misunderstood by everybody. And he died being the hero again. Welcome to my boring life. I was born to be wild, baby! It's pretty normal for me to keep abnormal hours, so waking up in the afternoon is not uh, a big shift in routine. Lamps, a lot of lamps. Cats, a lot of cats. This is what I do. This is when they start jumping around and kind of <laughs> getting in my way. of cats on my desk it is staggering and I I just want to get to my computer I'm, I'm in the mindset where it's like I just want to check my stuff online checking Ricky's Twitter is one of the first things that I do online um, in London it's about six hours ahead so like if it's noon for me it's like 6 p.m. for him so about the time that I wake up He's going to bed. Flur! 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 Drake, I can see you too, turd. Cats in my closet, migrating to my closet, then back out on my desk when I'm trying to read. It's like, I love them, but seriously. Facebook is my next stop. I try to come up with really clever or sort of like witty things to say. I try to think outside of the box because like once you put something out there it's like an online journal. Sometimes I take it very seriously. Caution. You're about to see some real, live, cat poop. I do try to regularly clean out what I refer to as the boxes 
also known as uh, litter boxes. Needless to say, I'm not a happy camper while I'm doing this. It's like I'm knee deep in it. And then Fernando will sneak up on me or start talking to me and he should really know better not to do this when I'm all up, all up in that Yeah. Yep. There are four litter boxes, count them, four litter boxes, and every time I'm cleaning them out, I get that song, Circle of Life, stuck in my head. It's a circle of life, um, you know, plunk, sticking my scooper in there, digging out a big ripe turd. On average, it takes me an hour or less to get all of the cleaning taken care of. That is my morning routine. That is what I do. Let's see, it sounds like Johnny is working out. Dad is home. It's like, I've already told everyone to ignore the camera. Just don't pay attention to it. Just pretend that it's not in your life. And then the first thing that everybody wants to do when they see the camera is, Oh, look, what are you filming? You threw the camera. You're actually going to keep doing that? Yeah. yeah, I am, every day. How are you doing? Wow. Why? You've had those pain Why are you recording me? Just pain ignore pain. the camera. It's not there. Oh, stop already with oh, a stupid mom. camera. I was really excited that day because Sims 4 had just come out and I was going to go to Walmart and get my copy. But, as usual, something happened to slow me and Fernando down. Fernando's breaking into his own room because he locked himself out. Oh my god, I locked both windows. Oh, you locked both <laughs> windows! I did, and this thing has this thing here. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna open this. Fortunately, we did get to Walmart and we did get my beautiful copy of The Sims. Do you not have a key for that doorknob? Nope. Are you kidding me? Broke it with a knife, nice. Yay! Oh man. Don't do that again. Yeah. Because I stayed up all night the previous night playing Sims, I got up at like 10.30, come out into the living room. My brother Joe is there. He's playing the uh, Mario Kart for the Wii U because we got that the same day that we got Sims. And I am scrounging for food. Just scrounging. Check the fridge, and there's not really anything interesting in there, and check the cabinets, and then I think to myself that I need to go and borrow some food from mom and dad. I don't see it as thievery, it's more like, I don't know, when I say borrow, I mean take something of theirs and not return it, but yeah, I, it's not theft, it's more like, like love, you know, they're, they wouldn't want me to go hungry, I know, and they're kind of sharing. Staying up all night, sleeping all day. But I had a noteworthy dream about Ricky Gervais. I decided at one point that I was gonna document my dreams on video. He was impressed with me enough that he came back to my grandma's trailer with me. And we were on the floor together on this little mattress. And I remember thinking it was so cool that he was sharing the same blanket with me. And then, and then I asked him if he was afraid of the dark, and he was like, why? 
he ended up taking his shirt off and his pants off and um, family members but they weren't really family members uh, they were people I didn't know but in the dream they were family members uh, and I was like I held him kind of like this close to me and I was running my fingers through his hair and I was like oh poor baby then he went back to being chubby Ricky and I asked him some questions I was like so he had taken off his shirt and everything and he had put it in a trash bag and put it in a, in a trash can like as a joke I, I just knew that he was gonna find out that I was digging in his bag and he was gonna be really upset so I was just like I'm really really sorry and that was pretty much my dream I don't think that that dream even made sense in dreamland I <laughs> I don't know what that was that you just witnessed but there you go. Anyway, another exciting chapter of my life unfolded for you on show. Thanks for watching. I should probably be apologizing, actually, because these are precious minutes of your life you could have been spending with your family or doing something worthwhile that you're just never going to get back now. So, <laughs> apologies. Um, I'm sorry. And bye.